guys, it's Michaela again, and welcome back to another video. If you are new to my channel, like I said before, my name is Michaela, and I make Sims 4 videos, specifically speed builds and create a sim. Sometimes I do some LPs. I also make bit light videos, so if you are interested in that, go ahead and check out my channel. So, for this speed build, I went into Solani, and I decided to build a restaurant. Now, I have never been to a tropical island myself, so I had to do some googling, look at some pictures for this, and I saw, I looked up Hawaii of restaurants, and I saw a couple where all the seating was outside, so I thought, oh, that would be pretty cool, especially since on the tropical island, I'm assuming it's probably going to be pretty nice all the time. Correct me if I'm wrong, like I said, I've never been to uh, any sort of tropical place or anything. But that's kind of what I was thinking for this. So obviously I have the kitchen and stuff inside because it probably wouldn't be safe to have that outside. And of course there's a bathroom, but uh, you see like this like porch like area the, or deck, I guess you could say. Um, that is going to be where all the seating is. Right now it is a little bit small, so yeah, I had to go in and try to make it a little bit smaller. Also these were going to be the bathrooms. Originally it was just going to be two bathrooms. They were going to be gender neutral for both of them, but just for like the aesthetic of having like a male and female bathroom. But I do end up changing that and just being one single one because honestly, it's the Sims. They don't care. They don't get mad if <laughs> if the other gender is in the bathroom. And then uh, this right here, that is where the staff would go into. So like in my head, that would be like a staff only area. I don't remember if like regular Sims like guests of the restaurant will uh, try to use that but it's not like they have any purpose to because it's literally the kitchen and some sinks some counters like there's nothing interesting in there and then for the landscaping i did go really crazy with the landscaping so if you can see outside the actual plot there's just like giant areas with just like greenery and stuff so that's kind of what i did almost around the whole building so that's what I started to do right now. I do finish the landscaping more at the end. And for terms of flowers and bushes and whatnot, I did use a lot from Island Living because I like to try to use similar or even the same items for landscaping that exist in the world. Because if I were to, let's, let's find an example. If I were to use like the vampire, like all the dead trees and stuff, probably wouldn't really work out in this build because a lot of things are just really green really lively so i tried to use similar or mostly the same items i did also use jungle adventure plants and stuff because i felt like it just fit in the world as well so that's what i'm doing right now and like i said i went pretty crazy and it was also really hard because the landscaping wanted to clip on to the actual deck which was very annoying. So I tried my best to use some grass and whatnot, and I used this, the island living, like, square patches of grass or whatever to kind of fill up the space in there because I didn't want to have any awkward spaces or anything. I also wasn't sure, like, what to put underneath the stairs because nothing was really working. Um, I think later on I just put in some of the square uh, grass things or something like that. And then, of course, since this is technically a restaurant, using dine out, all that stuff, I had to have like a hostess area, which I guess this kind of works. My first intentions for this build was I want, wanted it to be like one of those stands where you just like walk up and order your food, but it's a Sims, and unfortunately we cannot do that. But now that I think about it more, I think this works out pretty well, because it's like, it's not super duper fancy for like... It's like super expensive and like just like the fanciest restaurant ever but it's also not like super like not fancy if that makes sense so i figured like maybe like something in between maybe families want to come here or whatnot um i didn't make a menu or anything i should probably go back and do that i forgot that existed <laughs> so i'll probably actually i don't even know like what what types of food i should put in there like I don't know, I feel like I was basing this off of Hawaii because whenever I think of tropical islands, the first thing I think of is Hawaii, which I really want to go to. If you have been there, please let me know. 
and let me know what it's like. Um, I do really want to go there one day, maybe when the pandemic is over and it's safe to travel again, I can maybe do that. So right now I'm just trying to figure out the placement for all the tables and whatnot. I felt like I wasn't able to put a whole lot of tables, there's like, what, six of them? So only six parties can go into this restaurant at the time. But also I feel like whenever I try to make restaurants in The Sims, I put in all the seating because if you think about a restaurant in real life, there's always tons and tons of seating, but then there's like, it's never filled. So it's just like always just like half empty or whatever, which I mean, is fine, but I wish we could fill it up more. And then I do put a lot of decorations on the walls and whatnot. At first I was using a lot of cats and dogs items because there are like a lot of like beachy type of things, but I do switch them out with a lot of the island living because cats and dogs of that expansion pack for the beach items, it reminds me of, so I live in the Pacific Northwest, right? And uh, the beaches in Washington and Oregon, like definitely different from a tropical island. <laughs> definitely, definitely different. And it's like colder here. So cats and dogs definitely gives me those vibes versus a tropical island is just like, I don't know. I feel like Island Blueberry does well in it. I guess I don't actually know. But anyways, now I am, well, I had to put in some lighting, of course, and then I move on to the bathroom and putting in some tile and stuff. I was using the color scheme in this whole build of like reddish slash orange, which is something I definitely never do in any of my builds. And oh yeah, this is when I work on the bathroom and I wanted to use stalls because, I mean, I guess I could have just made it like a single bathroom or whatever, but then it was, it got too big. So instead I put in the stalls that do come with Discover University. I do wish the stalls could have been like a base game update or something like that, because like if someone wants to download this and they don't have university, then they don't have the stalls. I mean, it's not that hard to just make them yourselves, but I like having the actual like real stalls because then it just looks more real, I guess. But anyways, now I'm moving on to the kitchen area. Um, I'm pretty sure those are the Island Living counters, which I really like. I think they look really nice. And obviously I wanted to use a lot of the Island Living stuff. And then I just put some other like random stuff around. Like I put those sinks next to each of the cook station. I did have two cook stations just because it was really big in here. And I wasn't quite sure how to fill up the space. I probably could have made like a staff room or something like that. Um, I do put some like wall decorations, not posters, but they reminded me of like when I worked in a restaurant and we had like all of the like important information about like work safety and whatnot. So I started to put some of that on there too. And then I put some hand sanitizer and also the fire extinguisher because that's just something that a restaurant should probably have, uh, especially when you're in the kitchen. I think there was one time when I was working because I used to work at a restaurant and we thought the it, it was catching on fire. Turns out whenever they turned on the heater or every winter, it would like burn the dust. So then it would smell like it was something that was burning, but it wasn't, we were fine. So yeah, those are like the little wall decorations and, decorations and whatnot for Sims work safety. And then I put the chalkboard up there. I do switch it out with a different one. Yeah, I switch it out for that one. Cause I thought like, oh, maybe it's like information or like if they're out of something, they can write it there or something like that. And then I don't really decorate the counters per se. I do leave them quite empty, but I do put some wall decorations up here. So I put like knives on there and just like different utensils that the cooks would probably need. And then the olive oil, like little wall decoration. And then yeah, this is where I put like just like more random stuff. I use a lot of the dine out stuff, obviously, because this is a restaurant. And just like, like I put some spices and then I think I put those olive, like what is it called? Like the jar of olives. Yeah, that thing. But, and then, yeah, then I put this little like platter thing. I pretty much just wanted to put a bunch, well, not really a bunch of decorations since I didn't really do anything to the counter space or anything. But also I feel like on the counter space, like that could be where like, so when I worked at a restaurant, whenever one of us was leaving, we would have to do some type of prep work. I didn't work in the kitchen. I was a server, but I remember that the cooks would have to have to prep by like cooking or not cooking by cutting stuff and whatnot to prep for the future shifts. 
But anyways, this is almost the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you did like this video, please uh, let me know in the comments down below. And also give this video a big thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you all in the next video. I hope you have a great day, guys. Bye.